Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm going to be sharing a technique that I learned years ago from my Aunt June using nail polish and altering the look of metal findings to create kind of a faux enamel look. It's a super cool technique, so check this out. I am so excited to be sharing this faux enamel technique with you today. What you're going to need is some nail polish and you can see here I have two different colors. Uh, you'll need as many colors as you want to use but you'll need your color so here I have a purple and then you're also going to need some light color. I have a pinky pearly color you can also use a white pearl but you need something uh, well it could even have some sparkles in it like this one here. You need something to kind of thin this color out because this is a little opaque and you want a little bit of your metal to show through. Here I have some wax paper. You can see my colors here and my toothpicks that I'm going to use to paint. So what I've done, the ratio is one drop of color to four or five drops or even more depending on how um, vibrant you want the color of your pearl or your sparkle color. And mix that together. You can mix the nail polish together just like you would any other kind of paint. It'll make its own new colors. And then you're going to take your finding like I have here, and I've already started it as you can see. Um, the nice thing about this finding is in where you see the purple area here, these there's debossed areas. And so it makes it real easy to just lay that color in and pull that through. You can even go over the top of the finding. Let me thin this out just a little bit more here. A little bit lighter pink. There we go. And you can apply the color right over the top of the metal. It, the metal will kind of show through, especially if you've thinned out some of these colors with a lighter color or with a clear. It'll show through a little bit. And you can just paint right over the top of all that detail. So you can add as many colors as you want, anything that goes with your color scheme. With this particular butterfly, one of the reasons I love it is because I can add all my sparkle and my bling. So it has five different areas that you could add crystals if you want. And um, just drop those in there and use some type of epoxy glue to secure them if you want. Or you can do what I did. And I just take a big glob of the nail polish and I just set it down in there. Let it fill up that little cavity. Let it dry or even as it's drying even better yet gotta add a little bit more bling let's add some glitter over the whole thing oh yeah love my glitter once your piece is completely colored then you're going to set that aside let that dry completely and then do this step which is adding an acrylic sealer. This is a spray-on sealer. It's the Aileen spray-on sealer and the gloss finish. Love, love, love this. You're going to spray over the entire surface of your finding and you're going to let it dry. Then it's ready to make into your masterpiece. Nail art is so much more popular today than it was a few years ago, so there's so many more colors available, allowing you to expand the possibilities when creating your own metal jewelry. If you like the project, remember you can get the project instructions on the website. Thanks for joining me. I'm Linda Peterson, living a creative life because I think it's cool to craft.